Welcome to another episode of Mondane Designs. I'm your host, Mondane. This video is part of my Infinite Game Score series, and today we're going to be going over Kingdom Hearts 0.2 Birth by Sleep, a Fragmentary Passage. I don't know why I took so much time between games to start playing Point two, Birth by Sleep, A Fragmentary Passage. I guess I wanted to stay in the world pre-Kingdom Hearts 3 for a little bit longer. In Fragmentary, we find ourselves with Aqua lost in the darkness. It's a bit of a sad, introspective journey for her. And I began to empathize with her endless struggle, but never turned into pity. Because of Aqua's training and strength, the journey never feels tragic or hopeless, unlike Riku's past solo adventures. The combat in Fragmentary is unbelievable. Birth by Sleep was my favorite combat system in Kingdom Hearts, but somehow they took that system and transformed it into something majestic. I can't really say more than that because, well, you just need to experience this for yourself. Let's get on with the game score. It exists, so it gets a starting score of three. It is physical and digital, so it gains a point. The immersion, two points. Voice actors in English, three points. Somehow they just nailed it this time. Game length, one point. Uh, guys, this is almost a demo, but it's still worth playing because it just, it opens up and sheds so much light on Aqua and, and how she is and who she is. Story, two points. Level design. You know what? This game has new levels, so three points. Play balance. PvP, two points. Complete experience, one point. Sense of progression. It's kind of hard to progress in a wasteland, so minus one point. Fairness punishing RNG, two points. Game value to MSRP cost. Technically, it's a demo, so zero points. Soundtrack, it definitely adds to the compelling emotion of the story, so three points. The visuals are just absolutely stunning, three points. Difficulty, two points. Gameplay and combat, three points. Controls, circle is still jump, but I'm kind of used to it, so two points. Camera, three points. Unlockables and rewards, one point. No single player or it's too short. Yeah, it lost a point here, unfortunately. Guys, it's not really much of a big time investment on this one, but you definitely get more out of this than you put into it, so I would highly suggest it. This game caps out at 36 points total. If you love Birth by Sleep and you like the character Aqua, you're gonna love this. Well, that's it for this episode of Mondane Designs. I'm your host, Mondane. I hope you enjoyed this episode as much as I enjoyed making it. I have videos on the 1st and 15th of every month and look forward to sharing them with you. As always, please like, comment, and subscribe, and have a wonderful day.